Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, hello. If you're not, please subscribe, click the link and follow me for some more videos. In this video, I'm going to be fitting roof bars to the top of my van along with an awning rail. Getting set, getting ready for camping. wicked um, there's a link below uh, in the blog just so you can see where I got it from um, but yeah let's crack on let's get all the stuff we're gonna need for the passenger side including the awning rail and um, let's smash it on on the roof you already have four fixing points uh, for roof bars awning rails uh, roof rack system etc so there are already fixings, so there is no drilling in this video. Okay, so I'm going to start on this side. This is the side that the awning rail comes on. Now, I would suggest... That one's a bit loose. I would suggest you just take them all out, put them somewhere safe, because you're going to need all these again in the future if you ever take your roof bars and stuff off going to need to be able to block up these holes otherwise you're going to have a little bit of a leak right so silicone those up i've got that bolt back in securely holding the roof rail in place let's get these pieces put into place attach everything we need and get it bolted down make sure i get this all in the right spot the bar grew into hopefully the hole underneath. Just do that up lightly. Make sure it's in spot. And then we're on to so once I'm happy with the positioning, I'm just going to make sure these are nice and tight. They're nice and tight. All that's left to do now is just to pop the little covers in that cover up the screws. And we'll get over to the other side. So what we're going to do first is take out the existing Allen key nuts. One at the front, three quarters down, and one at the back. Once they're all out, with the silicone you get in your kit, give that quite a generous bit of squirting into the hole. Once you've done that, put your plastic trims again, written where they need to go into place. Lift your roof bar on, and all it is now is a question of lining up the holes and getting the bolts in. Now I'm going to move on to the front. Again, I'm just going to lightly screw that in so I can still move the bar around. And now the last one. I'm going to screw these down. 
down nice and tight. And then what we're going to do, using the Allen key provided, is just check they're done up tight enough. I don't want to over tighten them with the impact driver. They're in nice and tight. All that's left to do now is just to pop the little covers in that cover up the screws. In the kit, you also get the crossbars. So we're going to have a look at fitting those now too. So we're going to pop these across and get them into position. Now, what I've done is, from this point here, I've measured seven inches that way, and then I know the gap between um, points on the bottom of my roof box is 28 inches. So it's around here somewhere, which isn't very far, um, but that's plenty. So that's in position there. Um, you're gonna screw that tight on there and I'll go across the other side and do that bit too. The gap between my roof box fixings is 28 inches, so from the centre of that bar to the centre of that bar, that's 28 on this side. And it's 28 on this side. Once you're happy with that, underneath this, you need to fit two locking screws in through the holes. Once you've done that and you're happy that you've measured it out, you can get them locked tight into place. Once they're locked, the last thing to do is put the little caps provided to cover up the screws. And that's it guys, so thanks very much for watching, uh, stay tuned, I've got lots more videos coming. Thanks to those people that have already subscribed to the channel, it's growing again. But this time, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to give you the chance to get, if you are number 500 subscriber, I'm going to send you a free T-Dubs hat just to say thank you so not this one because I'm going to keep this one so if you are number 500 please send me a message like the channel like the page do all that fancy little stuff and I'll send you one of these free hats as for number thousand well you'll have to stay tuned and see what happens this is Tom this is T-Dubs thanks very much for watching See you all soon.